Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Jaleep tribe, and we are over with the very interesting, and I have to admit, pretty favored branch of the family tree, with Chocolate Chip and Van Kiravan, her mate, and there are two children with another one on the way, and I am so excited to see how many of you guys have fallen in love with this little branch of the family tree. They are over here hanging out with the mysterious giving tree that Van Kiravan really loves, and you guys have come up with such creative names for their children. We have Pecan and Nut and a lot of people think that Van Kiervan would have taken on either the name of Nut or Acorn in honor of the tree. I kind of like to say that he is perhaps the keeper of the tree or the watcher of the tree, the tender of the tree even. So he really loves his tree and I don't think that Van Kiervan will stray very far from it. But in the future, I think that this may be the branch of the family tree we may have wander across the waters. And thank you guys for letting me know in as non-spoilery a way as possible so we can still be surprised by all of the bits and pieces of the new update that when we do cross the ocean across to the mysterious lands that lie beyond the little jumping stones here we will actually leave behind quite a bit of the tribe if we don't take as many members across as possible we will actually be leaving behind everybody else so that's a very serious decision to have to make what we might do is maybe select representatives from each branch of the family tree to go across together especially if that means that we can take as many very Varied immunity genes as possible with us too. And so far we've got a pretty good mix of immunity genes. Actually, Chocolate Chip, also known as Meese. Her name is Meese, but we call her Chocolate Chip because she looks just like a chocolate chip cookie, if you ask me. She really brought in some immunity genes. She brought in immunity A. And we could use immunity A with Van Kiervan. So so far their children have been born pretty healthy. Oh, and what is this? And Taravan actually has black fur. What? He's displaying the recessive red fur, but he's got a black fur dominant genetics. Hmm. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Or maybe these are kind of co-genes. There are genetics that actually interact together to create a unique display, a unique, um, oh, phenotype which is like how you display your gene. So this will be very interesting. We have a bunny, I think, who is going to be very bold and come up and try to steal these berries from Lari here, who is guarding the berry bush. And then over on the other side of the island, we will eventually connect these two up, by the way. I just don't think that Van Kiervan is going to leave his tree and Chocolate Chip doesn't even know about all of these. But on the other side of the family island, we have actually started having Kierkirku here, who reminds me of a very violet creature. He's got this beautiful violet colored, almost like purple hued fur that I really love. It's just the mix of the gray and the black fur together, and I think it's quite lovely. His children so far have like brown fur and gray fur mixed together, but we just had a little boy with antlers who actually has brown fur. So it really, it looks quite interesting. And so we might, might, send him over to join the chocolate chip family in the future. I think some brown furred creatures in honor of chocolate chip would be really great. Uh, in fact, we might even try, let's see if we can unlock the brown fur because I want to see if we can make sure that we get brown fur. So let's try mutating red fur just to see if we can like work our way along and make sure we get brown fur mixed in too. But we have this little boy who has just joined the family. His mom, Komi, got sick, unfortunately. She just unexpectedly caught a cold in the rain, even though her immunity genes are pretty strong. I guess you can still get sick even if you have really strong immunity. Uh, ironically, Chocolate Chip has bad immunity, but so far, fingers crossed, she hasn't gotten sick. And Komi is expecting another child with Kirkirku. And her sister, Lana, has also uh, gotten pregnant with Kirkirku's child, too, because we want to try to keep as many of the immunity genes flowing in our tribe as possible. And Komi over here has A and G, and Lana over here has B and F, and then Kirkirku, who wandered into our tribe, so he is a new jolt of genetics, brought in I and D. So that's why we are breeding them. A lot of you guys were a little upset. You're like, no, no, that's too many many family members, but don't worry, as long as their immunity genes are different, that's one of the most important things you can do to keep your tribe healthy. But alright, unfortunately, this is the last bit of the story I was hesitating to come towards and why we are dragging out this turn. 
It's the fact that Eve has just given birth to little Van Ro, and he is kind of lost in this little nest all by himself. Nobody really knows he's there. Eve is on top of the bones of Adam, her beloved mate who just passed away of old age, and I think she is going to pass away before she's able to clear the way and let Mira know that Mira's little baby brother is unattended in this nest and needs somebody to watch over him. So I, and thankfully we're not on the island where I think the birds are going to show up or the predators are going to show up and eat our babies. I've heard rumors, I don't want to know too many details because I want to be surprised, but I've heard rumors that's what's going to happen on another island. But hopefully Mira will be able to go over there and save her brother in just a moment here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. We're going to say goodbye. Goodbye to Eve. Ah, oh, and there she goes. Oh, you guys. Eve and Adam's bones were laying together for just a moment. Oh, and there's a bunny. There is a bunny. Oh, and that reminds me. Thank you for letting me know. Some of you guys pointed out that you can now move on top of the bunny's spot and get the bunny. So it is actually much, much easier than it used to be to collect up meat from bunnies because you no longer have to go onto the spot next to them and hope you can kind of outrace them. You can race and jump right on top of the rabbits, which is much, much easier to do. So yes, Mira was distracted taking care of that bunny. Anna Anna here, who is a really good collector, we're actually going to scooch her over in just a minute, but we'll have her collect these berries. They don't know their little brother is there, but let's go ahead and we'll have him. Oh, he's sitting on top of the bones. Oh, that's so sad. He's sitting on top of both his parents' bones right there. Hang in there, Van Ro. Maybe it'll make him decide to teach the pack that they really need to become strong and gain a lot of claw strength. Or maybe it'll just teach him how wonderful it is to live in a pack where your family mostly died of old age rather than uh, predators perching all over the place. All right, Tadukta, we can actually send off. He can start exploring with his dad. Uh, these two I'm going to send. Oh, well, actually, Lana just gave birth to Nunu. What a name. So Nunu, who has berry paw and runner's leg. So good bit of collecting. That's one of our strongest collectors right there. Three collecting is really good. So we'll probably move him over to take over some of these spots from the other family members in a little bit. But let's go ahead and gather those berries. And I guess that means Lana, hmm. Let's go ahead and kind of start clearing some of the area, actually. Uh, oh, was there a, I think a bunny just, oh, there it is. Oh, he came back. He, he He's gonna get the berries, even though I don't want him to. Lari's too full and happy on berries, and she just has to glare with this gigantic full belly, unable to chase down the little bunny. Oh, that's so sad. It's not really like sad sad, it's just like funny sad. She's too, too full from eating all those berries to go and chase that bunny down. Uh, I think I will have Lana come over and try to reach there we go. Try to reach Kir Kirku so that she can start thinking about having another baby. And then I'm going to have Kir Kirku wander over here a little bit and actually clear the way as he wanders so that we can clear this area out and kind of see what's going on around here. And Larela here, she has two berry picking, so she can go ahead and pick these berries for now. There we go. Oh, and I almost missed out on little, oh, Vanta, wow, he's a really good berry picker. So he can pick an entire berry bush in two picks. So I guess that means there's about six six berries. Is that how many berries are there? One, two, three, mm, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Are there different numbers of berries on each bush? <gasps> I didn't notice that before, but yeah, look, here's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. There are different numbers of berries on each bush now. I did not know that, you guys. So some berry bushes are going to be definitely worth more to keep our eyes on than other berry bushes. Totally didn't know that. What about the one that we have down here with the chocolate chip family? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty good, pretty good. Taravan uh, can come and collect these berries. He will help out his dad with watching after. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and actually have him like look at the berry bush and little brother can come over. So little brother Van Kierkier, who a lot of you guys want to call, I think, um, oh, what was it? It was like, it was like nut or almond. You guys are coming up with some really adorable kind of cookie based names, <laughs> cookie filling based names for these little ones. All right, and Mies is gonna help gather this. So this is interesting. She can pick up nuts even though she does not have berry paw, which I think is really useful. And then she can also help to shake trees and we're gonna get her pregnant self up into that nest, waddle up into that nest. And I have a feeling that Van Kiervan here 
is just going to be distracted. So many nuts to collect, so many things to do. All right, so she is about to give birth to another child. We also have Komi about to give birth to another child. And otherwise, we have little Van Ro, his tragic little story going on over here, but everything else is pretty darn peaceful on the island. So let's come over and see what Chocolate Chip's next baby is going to be. And, oh, the rain stopped. <gasps> Wow, Chocolate Chip, congratulations! What a gorgeous child. Is it a girl? I hope it's a girl. It's a girl, Relayla! And she's actually a big, powerful fighter. She is our strongest fighter right now. Ram, Normal Body, and Claw comes up to five fighting, so she is actually our most powerful fighter at the moment. She also has immunity A and B. She carries stripes as her recessive, which is very interesting. Ram Horn, Claw normal body. I wonder if we want to make our creatures kind of really strong bodied before they leave. All right, and we'll go ahead and have yellow fur is the next thing we unlock. I just kind of really want brown fur and chocolate chip animals <laughs> when we go across to the next island as a heritage of chocolate chip. And then let's see, hmm, some, a lot of these are still locked, but I don't think, other than the fact that you can now put poison things into the mutation menu, thank you guys for pointing that out to me as well. I kind of saw it, but it didn't register that it was there. I don't think too many new mutations have been added in just yet, but rumor has it that there will be several. So let's see what's going on over here. Oh, the water is so pretty actually. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, there's another little striped baby. So we do have Kier Kierku's children. Oh, it's a girl, a little girl with brown eyes named Kosi. She is a pretty good fighter too. Not nearly as good as her cousin, but she is a pretty good fighter. And she does carry this unique eye immunity gene. Her brothers, one, uh, two of her brothers do have it as well. So that's pretty useful. I'm going to send Komi up. Is that a bunny? Yes, it's just a bunny that we scared scared to pieces so i'm going to send comey up and then back over to her nest and then i'm going to have lana go ahead and move over to her nest can she is she a good collector no she's not really that good of a collector of berries in fact if i move this little guy now new new here is a good collector of berries and he probably wants to hang out with his mother so i will actually move her i'm gonna have her look at this so we can start clearing some of the grass since we have so many berries right now and Lana has returned. This is kind of her nest. She's sort of taken over Eve's nest and kind of is filling the role. Oh, and there's the bunny. Filling the role for Eve. <laughs> and we'll start having Lari explore this area. And we'll have new Taduke actually start exploring this area too. Since we have quite a bit of extra food at the moment. We're not really hurting on food. So I think I'll also send Tan, uh, Tanu <laughs> Tanuta, sorry about that Tanuta. I think I will also send him out to help do a little bit of exploring and hunting as well because his brother Vanta here actually is the much better berry picker. And so with his three berry picking skills, we'll perch him in between these bushes. I love how close the bushes are to one another here. And then Ana Ana, I'm going to actually scoot her over in just a second. And, oh yeah, I forgot about that bush up there, which is really funny because I was staring at it the whole time. I just also sort of forgot about it. All right, and we will try to get little Vonro a little bit closer. Does Mira maybe hear his call? Not yet. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad this is not one of the islands where little, little Vonro, last born of Adam and Eve, would possibly be lost. And meanwhile, down here, it looks like Tadukta is actually following his father around and kind of searching the grass with dad in a very, very bold way. And we'll go ahead and have Kirkirku stay nearby since his his mates are about to have babies again. And so he's probably going to want to help have even more babies after that. But also because he's just clearing the area so that his children can play safely around the nest and the berry bushes. This is a very nice island. I will be sad to leave it. I am very excited about this new addition to the family too. Rilela or uh, Rilara, sorry. <laughs> there's so many ways to say these names. Well, there's not, but there's just so many variations of the names that it's easy to kind of get them all muddled up on my tongue. All right, and Tarovan is here helping out with picking the berries. He's not very good at it. 
is his sister. His sister is not very good at it either because she only has one, that's right. And then Kiravan is not very good at it either, but that's okay because dad doesn't want much in life. He just really wants to see that everybody is very happy with the tree. And I think that Chocolate Chip here, aka Mies, is very happy that she can shake the tree and make food appear, which is not something she could do with the berry bushes. She was just very frustrated. She'd probably always catch her muzzle on the berry bush thorns and she wouldn't really be able to actually get in there and collect berries because she has no berry paw, no ability to collect. I wonder if they will actually prevent you from being able to gather the nuts with these guys in the future too. But maybe there's no trees on the other island, so it's kind of a moot point. All right, so this is going very well. I'm actually very impressed that Tanuta here has taken up such an important role. He did what he needed to on the berry bushes, and now he has taken over for watching after the bunnies. But that's all taken care of. No, more pregnancies coming in. Let's see what the babies look like. Oh, another one! Nuvon! So now we have little Nuvon, who is an excellent berry picker, the best berry picker we have had yet. Double berry paw. Oh my goodness. All right, so Nuvon, the ultimate berry picker, has been born. That's fantastic. He is actually going to take over Vanta. Vanta was uh, the best berry picker, and now his half-brother has presented a bit of competition. And then little Kosi can go over here and kind of help out with searching around the area. I think Komi, 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 you just go ahead and move into the nest. Your son, Tanuta, can go ahead and collect up some things and then clear out some more of the grass. Tadukta can kind of keep an eye. I think he would kind of keep an eye on his younger sibling and maybe help feed his sibling some berries. But Anna, Anna, their aunt, uh, I think she's at least their aunt, uh, is hanging around and she should hopefully be able to keep an eye on them as well. And Kirkirku. I think we'll go ahead and let him do a little bit more exploring this direction before we send him back over to his mates. And little Vanro has grown up all on his own, but he has finally come over and he is finally meeting with Mira, his sister. Does he have any genes I would really want to pass on? Poison fangs he has, but only a female who does not have ram horns or antlers would be able to pass on poison fangs. On this island, I think that getting berry paw up to as high as possible is actually more important. So we'll focus on those things. Little Vanro, he can come and he can kind of join the family. He might be our scout actually. So he, he has now met his sister officially. So he has met Mira and she is surprised and kind of searching around the area and we'll sort of fill in or we'll remove the grass in between everyone but I think he's lived so long in the wilds on his own that he'll probably be the one to scout the perimeter. I think that's what Von Rowe's future and his fate is going to be is scouting the perimeter of the island so we'll leave that in his paws and then over here we have little Nunu who has really good berry picking so we'll go ahead and let him do some of that. Lee Rayla here is actually really good at exploring so I might send her over here and she can start helping out with clearing out some of the areas around here ah what's this hmm hmm we'll gather up these berries hopefully that's not a predator <laughs> Lana, do you want to investigate if that's a predator? I think we'll go ahead and have Lana investigate and see if this is a predator or not. She is a, she's a bit of a more protective female. Now that she's had like two or three really healthy children, I'm not sure if she'd want to be constantly in the nest the way that Comey is. So we do need some female babies though. We have a couple females. Hmm. We'll have to see who else is born. All right, Lorara. Lorela even. I might need to keep you... Hmm, we might have to mix the two sides of the family a little bit sooner than I thought we would, <laughs> just because things are already getting to the point where I'm like, hmm, how to mix the genetics. All right, so now we are gonna mix, or we are going to remove beautiful Rila, Rilara. See, there's so many names that are so similar to each other, you can really start getting a little tripped up on it. Down by her dad, perhaps? Um, or maybe just a step over here. She's very curious about what it's like outside of the uh, outside of the family area. And I think that Chocolate Chip is very excited. She managed to go ahead and actually pick up those, those nuts she got to help. That's, she's very excited. Oh, there's more nuts. Oh, that's gonna make, that's gonna make little Van Kiervan so excited. All right, we should probably send one of his sons down here. <gasps> there's another nest! You guys, how exciting! Now maybe we'll send, oh my gosh, look, it looks like chocolate chip is in the tree. 
<laughs> you guys, oh, that's so funny. Chocolate Chip, what are you doing climbing the tree? Maybe that's how she knocks everything down and gets to help out is she climbs up inside of the tree. Oh, that's, that's just too awesome. That's just too funny. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to say that that's how she helps knock down the nuts is that she'll actually climb up in the tree and Actually finding this nest means that I might send over some of the females with different immunity genes from over here And I man, I wish that I could pass on the gray fur that Kirkirku has Somehow, but we're just gonna have to continue working our way down New mutation gene may be found if we mutate the yellow fur. That gray and black fur mix makes such a really cool purple sort of violet hue, and I would love to see that passed on, but at least he has his sons, uh, Tadukta, and then he did have little Kosi. I almost forgot about little Kosi being a girl. So we might send Kosi over here, um, except that the A gene is already pretty strong in this side of the family. Oh gosh. Yeah, see what I mean already? Things are getting to the point where it's kind of going, hmm, but who do I really want to be able to breed? But at the same time, did Kosi have the eye gene? She did, but it might be Lana. We might have to send Lana over to become a mate of maybe Tarovan. We'll have to look into that next time when we start breeding that branch of the family tree. So let's go ahead and collect up these. Lots and lots of awesome berries. Wonderful. Everybody seems pretty calm. Lots of pregnant females. Let's go ahead and see what Chocolate Chip's next baby is going to be. And the last one today, a little boy named Von Ro. Oh my goodness, and look at him. So he is kind of even across the board, a decent berry picker and a decent fighter, and with decent movement. Nothing nothing too tremendously exciting, but he kind of reminds me of like a shortbread cookie. Hmm, or maybe like uh, one of those blondies, the, <laughs> those brownies that are called like blondies. That's what he kind of reminds me of. So we have little Von Ro. He is a male too, so we're sort of getting a scary, a scary imbalance in our males and females. But right down here, Comey has given birth to Lana. I could swear we already have a Lana on the island, but that's all right. Now we have A and D immunity on her, so we may actually, and she's got the most adorable tiny little antlers, doesn't she? So we may send her over and try to find her a mate from among all of these ones. Really, it's like Eve's daughters were just a ton of Eve clones <laughs> looking at all of the orange fur, the orange red fur that's just all over the place. But we will start trying to figure out how to kind of knit together the branches of the family tree and how to continue exploring the island next time. So thank you guys so much. I'm really loving watching as the family grows and their stories develop and I really can't wait to see what kind of fun names you guys come up with for chocolate chip and her tree climbing family. That's just the, that's just, this is awesome. Chocolate chip. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.